lifted off in a blaze of orange colored flame from the Kennedy Space Center, Florida. Apollo 7 performed according to plan during its 11 day mission, causing NASA officials to report a 101% successful mission. For more information, log on to www.nasa.gov slash history. Apollo 7, uh, Houston, uh, we acknowledge the air on the ground here. Okay, I'd like to have the ground get to work and look at the sweep this cycle. Oh, very good. I got a couple of uh, small items for you. Uh, Wally took uh, a couple of acts in the active third. Well, took one active third only. He feels fine. He just got a little stuffy headphones. And uh, I put some nose grease in mine because my nostrils are a little dry. I decided it smells good. Picking up, I can read it now, just a minute. It says, from that uh, lovely Apollo something. You guys should write it. Apollo room. High, high, high atop, atop everything. Something. High atop everything. Looks good. I can see Wally Hamlet now. Don has a smile on his face, and there's Walt. Down the coast. Okay, what's the next one? A little closer, Wally. It says, keep those cards coming. Cards and letters cards coming in. Coming in, folks. It's loud and clear. Roger. Good morning to everyone in television land. You're looking at the right-hand portion of the main display console. In the upper left-hand portion of your view, you would see the uh, instruments that have to do with the cryogenics that are used to power the fuel cells and provide breathing oxygen to the spacecraft. Units 310. 